Hello One Piece enthusiasts, I'm the One Piece nerd, and today let's talk about Mihawk. So, as of recent chapters, we've got to know a little bit about Mihawk, we got to know a little bit about Shanks, and it gets into a lot of argument. So, the purpose of today's video is basically to understand a little bit about what Oda meant by the Stronger Swordsman, and we're also gonna go and dive a little deep into Mihawk's backstory. So, from what we know, as of chapter 1050, I think it was, uh, 6? 1056, maybe? I can't even recall, I'm so sorry. We know that Mihawk used to be called the Marine Hunter. Just like Zoro used to be the Bounty Hunter, Mihawk used to be a Marine Hunter. So, what does that mean? So we could say when Rogers, uh, when Roger had his execution, that's when we first see Mihawk in the most youngest stage. After that, he might have been inspired to become the world's great swordsman, or maybe he was sort of after um, he was going to become a pirate by seeing Roger. We're not exactly sure, but something made him prompt to go after the Marines, which is very weird, because. No one in, in ever in the history of, I don't, if I recall correctly from what we know of One Piece, no one has ever dared to go after the Marines. So, back then we didn't have Cross Guild, there was no one to give out bounties for Marines. So that means Mihawk used to do it all by himself for no monetary gain. So why is that? How much could Mihawk hate the Marines to the point where he basically went to hunt them down? So, it's clear, it's evident that the world government is in justice, is in ju unjust to the people of the world. They have a propaganda and everyone must follow that. They've been hiding secrets from the rest of the world. They were the reason for the void century and whatever whatnot. People are now in slavery, um, corruption, whatever whatnot is going on in the world. So, okay understandably, undeniably, just like Dragon, Mihawk has some grudge against the Marines that led him to becoming a Marine Hunter. Now, this could specifically mean that, yo, the rest of the pirates are busy hunting for the One Piece, the Marines are busy chasing after the uh, pirates, why don't I go after the Marines and create some trouble for them? And for someone like Mihawk to go up against the Marines, and survive without any sort of major fatal injury is sort of surprising, if you ask me. If he's going after Marines, he's definitely going after Vice Admirals because if we know his strength, he has a lot of strength. So this could clearly mean that he was strong. He was definitely strong and even a Vice Admiral wasn't enough. And considering how much of a threat level he was, maybe he went up against the Admirals. Maybe not Garb, but some other people back in the day, maybe Akainu, Aokiji, Kizaru, or whatever, they used to go after Mihawk, and they've had duels, but we have no idea about. And I now understand why you'd want to make him a warlord. He got bored of chasing marines, the marines were too scared to chase him down, and then he was like, yo, I'm gonna become a warlord, I'm gonna live in peace. So I guess that could have happened, but something prompted Mihawk to basically go after the marines, which is crazy, without any monetary gains. Now, uh, that's up for speculation, I'm not gonna speculate too much because we have almost no information about it, but what we can talk about is Oda's argument of, when Oda said, Shanks, uh, sorry, um, Mihawk is a better swordsman than Shanks. We know Mihawk is the world's greatest swordsman, we know Mihawk and Shanks used to have a rivalry, they used to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against each other, and Mihawk lost interest in Shanks after Shanks gave up his arm for Luffy. And what does that mean? That means that Mihawk is clearly stronger than Shanks in terms of swordsmanship skills, but how much of that does it have to do with hockey? What makes Shanks weaker than him? We know Shanks is strong. Guy has crazy conquerors hockey, guy has crazy hockey in general with no devil fruit so what does it mean doesn't mean that mihawk has a better hockey than shanks could be that's a straight simple answer yeah mihawk has better hockey than shanks 
which is unheard of. But I think I've do I can, I can come to a different conclusion. So, based on that, a lot of people said that, you know, in order to satisfy, you know, Shanks lovers, uh, which I'm I'm one of, but I'm not irrational. They said, okay, Zoro is a swordsman. Uh, Zoro can use a sword. Lu Zoro can fight with a sword. Luffy can fight with a sword. But Zoro is a better swordsman. Zoro is a better swordsman compared to Luffy, and but 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 Luffy is a better fighter compared to Zoro. Valid argument, but not really at the same time, because look, Zoro doesn't primarily use any other forms of attack. So he doesn't have any sort of devil fruits that make him, you know, significantly stronger than Luffy. He just uses swords. Luffy, on the other hand, has devil fruit to help him out, which goes to show that he doesn't need to rely on swords, but it makes him a stronger fighter because he has the devil fruit. That's comparative. It's the same way how Roger and Whitebeard used to go up against each other. So Roger only had hockey. Whitebeard had the Goro Goro no Mi. So Whitebeard has some sort of a significant advantage, even if Whitebeard didn't have the same level of hockey. He definitely had the Guru Guru Nomi to go up against Roger's hockey. And for Roger, yeah, he had hockey only and he had insane hockey, which Kaido talked about. And we get to see it with our own eyes when it comes to Odin's flashback. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, it's not comparable to Mihawk and Shanks because both, none of them have devil fruits, number one. Number two, both of them use hockey and both of them use swords. It is a completely different scenario, and for the whole prospect of One Piece, we've never seen a proper sword fight. We've never seen a proper sword fight where both of them are swordsmen, top tier swordsmen, using hockey, all three forms of hockey, or maybe even two forms of hockey, and going up against each other. In terms of sword fighting, we've seen Zoro versus Mr. One, that wasn't even sword fight. Zoro versus King, again, argument is. King is basically a user of a dinosaur flute who, by happen chance, uses a sword, and that's not enough to be called a swordsman, honestly, because he had other sorts of powers. Sort of the same with um, Whitebeard and Roger. So the, f the fact that we don't know what professional, what you know, top tier sword fighting looks like in, in World of One Piece, it's hard to judge. But what I could say is that. Shanks definitely doesn't have as much of a stronger hockey, or maybe he has some sort of an other ability that helps him get stronger than Mihawk. What do I mean by that? Mihawk and Shanks at the same time, both of them have been using swords from a very young age. Both of them learned hockey, and why do I know both of them know hockey? Because Mihawk's blade. Mihawk's blade is imbued with hockey, that's what makes it a black blade. On the other hand, Shanks' griffin doesn't have the black blade which basically means okay shanks doesn't fight as much or shanks utilizes other aspects of his strength than his sword which means he's purely not a swordsman that gives us scope to think about yo maybe what all the things we've seen about shanks we've only seen him use hockey honestly yeah he's seen we've we've seen him use the sword to block attacks but we've mostly seen him use conqueror's hockey to basically fiend off against enemies that happened in three cases. He had a clash with Whitebeard. Again, that is not pure sword fighting skills. Maybe he has some sort of other skills in his arsenal that we know about. And that's up to order to decide. And if if you if you got a cannon, if you've got to properly assess them both at the same time, ask Oda, because I'm not the writer. I'm just theorizing Shanks has a different power than we originally thought of. He has more than hockey, and Mihawk does use his sword frequently and he's been fighting using his sword for a long 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 time that's what made his bait black and shanks hasn't that's a proper argument maybe but i really want a proper explanation my mind's satisfied with the fact that shanks has something else other than hockey which has been theorized ever since uh we know about elbaf and you know Norse mythology about Shanks being the guardian of Elbaf and whatever whatnot. He has giant powers, but that's different now because we know he's a celestial dragon. 
he's from the Fearland family, that's impossible to be, Shanks to be a, you know, a giant, it's impossible almost. So, he might have some other power, we have no idea about. I just hope Oda gives us a proper explanation. For now, what satisfied me is the fact that uh, Shanks is much, or Shanks is a different strength. That's the only possible way to go about it. If you don't, I don't know what I was going to come up with, but it's not really satisfactory. We know Mihawk is great, but Shanks is greater. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, and peace.